Valley of the Sun Bowl has been the NJCA national title game three times in 1988, 2000, and 2005. All three times they've been hosted and won by the Glendale Community College Gauchos. The 1988 game was the first national title game for GCC. Glendale squared off against the Grand Rapids Community College Raiders from Grand Rapids, Michigan. The game was played on a rainy Thanksgiving night. The Gauchos defense made some big plays to set the tone. The first was by defensive back Mike Smith, who picked off this pass to stop a Grand Rapids drive. Then on the next Raiders drive, GCC recovered a fumble deep in their territory. This turnover would lead to a score. Gaucho running back Travis Cutright takes the handoff, makes a cut, and outruns everyone down the near sideline, 82 yards for the touchdown. Cutright's 82-yard run was a new Valley of the Sun Bowl record, topping Arizona Western's Daniel Colwell's 80-yard touchdown run in the inaugural game. With Grand Rapids punting out of their own end zone, Gaucho defensive back Muhammad Oliver charges through the line and blocks the punt out of the end zone for the safety. After the free kick by Grand Rapids, Cutright struck again, this time with a 64-yard touchdown run, putting GCC up 15-0. Grand Rapids turned in the longest play of the game on the extra point attempt by the Gauchos. The Raiders blocked it, and Steve Looney scoops it up and goes 95 yards down the far sideline to the end zone for two points. Just like they did all season long, the Gaucho defense closed out the game. Mohamed Oliver added this interception to stop another GRCC drive late in the second half. Glendale won 15-2. Coach Kersing's Gauchos finished the season as undefeated national champions. The 2005 national championship would be a rematch of the 1988 game between the Raiders and the Gauchos. This time around, the game was a high-scoring nail-biter that came down to the last minute of play. Grand Rapids special teams made the first big play of the game by blocking this punt in the end zone that was caught by Xavier Oldham for the touchdown. The GRCC offense started making big plays. Running back Leonard Curry rattled off a big 52-yard run deep into Gaucho territory. Two plays later, Billy Fern finds Anthony Townsend in the corner of the end zone for the score. The Raiders' defense continued to dominate the first quarter when Brandon Westbrook recovered a Johnny Sanchez fumble, then darted 42 yards for the touchdown. GRCC led 21-10. The Gauchos swung the momentum in their favor in the second quarter. Johnny Sanchez made it for his fumble by rushing for two scores of his own. The first was a 23-yard run, and the second was from six yards out. The Gaucho defense asserted itself in the game by snagging two interceptions. Torrey Huckabee had the first and returned it to the Grand Rapids five-yard line. The second was by Reno Pachoni on an underthrown pass by Billy Fern. Both interceptions led to touchdowns. Tim Brockwell connected with his leading receiver, Eric McCain, from 25 yards away. The touchdown by McCain highlighted the big day he had. Brockwell hooked up with McCain several times to keep drives going, and McCain's effort earned him MVP of the game. GCC took advantage of the biggest play of the game, which happened to be the longest play. When Marcus Turner fields the kickoff at his own 10-yard line and somehow manages to escape some tackles and cruise down the sideline for a 90-yard touchdown. Like a true heavyweight fight, Grand Rapids punched back. Sparked by another pick six, Carl Wimbley takes Brockwell's pass 42 yards to the house. The Raiders would get two more fourth quarter scores. The first was a 40-yard pass from Fern to Reggie Smith. The second was from Fern to Kyle Curtis from five yards out. The Raiders tried the two-point conversion, but the pass was incomplete in the corner of the end zone. Glendale held on for the 50-48 victory. And just like in 1988, they were undefeated national champs. There's been no lack of excitement or great performances throughout the years, even when it wasn't the national championship game. In 2001, the Bronkbusters of Garden City, Kansas took on the SEC Artichokes. Garden City's James Gerald catches his punt, starts up field, picks up some blocks, and outruns everyone for the 65-yard touchdown. Garden City's power backfield of K.J. Harris and Tyson Thompson were big factors in the second half. Harris gets the ball on this play, turns on the Jets, and goes 61 yards for the touchdown. Not to be outdone, Thompson gets this handoff and goes 26 yards for the score. It wasn't all Garden City when it came to big plays. Artichoke quarterback Jack Tomko led a second half charge. He threw three touchdowns. The first went for 35 yards to Marcus Gonzalez. The second went to Shannon Holcomb from 19 yards. The third may have been the catch of the day. Tomko hooked up with Matt Miller, who got behind the defense for the 38-yard touchdown. Scottsdale's late comeback was stopped just short as Garden City held on for a 39-31 win. The 2002 game was a rematch of the 2000 National Championship between Garden City and Glendale. The Gauchos won that game 13-7. This game was the complete opposite. It had a lot of big plays, was decided in the last minute, and had a record-breaking performance.
Big play. 